Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky, and welcome to an another speed build. I can talk, I promise. Wow, well, that was an intro. Um, today we're building a tiny modern eco house, but you know that if you read the title and saw the thumbnail. Um, so all, all month I am doing double uploads, so this is the second upload for the day. They are all going to be mini speed builds, and so far this week has been tiny homes. So you can see my castle there on the left, actually. I love tiny homes so much and I wanted to do like a big variety of different kinds. So I already did like a pink pastel one. I did a tiny castle. I did a rustic house and now I figured it was time for modern, eco, clean lines, light colors. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It ends up coming out really cool though. I mean, I have to say for a tiny little cube, I was able to really make the outside look kind of cool, uh, which I like experimenting with different stuff now. I used to not even care what the out outside of houses look like. I used to not care Care about the landscaping or anything like that, but I'm really, really taking my time with these little tiny homes to make sure they have curb appeal, right? Maybe the series should be called Tiny Home Curb Appeal. <laughs> no, the insides are okay too. I mean, I definitely take my time with them and squeeze as much as I can into them, which is nice. But right now on this one, I'm just adding a bunch of planters. I feel like with a, a little eco home, sort of like maybe for the future, not too far off into the future, they would have lots of plants and greenery. And I'm, I guess now too, right? I guess if you had a little tiny house and you're trying to live off the grid, you would probably want to be as self-sustainable as possible. Uh, although I would like to live on a tiny house, but not be off the grid. I don't know. Does that... Uh, does that make sense? I mean, I just like the idea of tiny homes. I like how small and compact they are. I imagine easy to clean. You know, it's just me and my cat, so I wouldn't really have to uh, worry about too much. Well, I, I have my dad. My dad lives with me, but I mean, you know, he's not going to live forever. Uh, that's not meant to, oh, wow, that sounded morbid. That's not meant to say anything. That was just meant to say, you know, someday it's just going to be me and my cats and my possible tiny eco home not eco just tiny i just want to live in a tiny house i don't really care about the eco part oh my gosh this voiceover is horrible not that i don't care about being you know eco-friendly it's not like i don't care about the economy the economy wow okay maybe i should just start all over again mm -hmm. yep <laughs> The environment. It's not that I don't care about the environment. It's just that, you know, I'm, I, I would want to live in a tiny house because I like tiny houses, not because of the eco-friendly appeal. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'm just going to stop talking about that. Anyways, I moved this house and I messed it up because I don't know what happened, but for some reason, like move objects doesn't always work for me when I place a house. And I don't know why, like I thought if move objects was on and you place a house from the gallery, everything that was like moved with move objects on should, you know, stay as long as you enter the sheet before you place it down. But for some reason, there's certain things like lights and plants and things like that, that just don't. So when I moved this whole house, all the plants kind of dropped down and I didn't even realize it till, well, a little bit later. It'll be a few minutes in the video, but I do go back and fix that obviously, but I don't know why it does that. If anyone knows, please let me know. Uh, but anyways, I figured this little tiny house could use a fountain or two. We end up putting a few fountains and I've always wanted to play with these little pool light things, but I never know what to do with them. So I finally decided to just like make them into a grid in the fountain when I wanted to get a little bit geometric and abstract and funky here, which... <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I'm just playing around, just messing with stuff. I really like building, just trying some new things, trying to expand my mind and sharpen those skills. <laughs> I don't know. It's cute. I think it's cute. I think I'll definitely use those, those little things again. I was originally going to use a fence, but that didn't quite work. Like you can't place a fence over a fountain. Um, you could place it like in between, but then there would be grass also in between. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm kind of comic cop cop what why what what is wrong with me today you know what it is i'm recording at like almost eight o'clock at night after work before i go home and i <laughs> i'm so mentally exhausted at work that like by the time this time hits i just want to go home and sleep <laughs> i'm such an old lady um I was trying to say, I was trying to mimic the roof because the roof I used to dance floor. So we have kind of a, a glass ceiling, more light, which uh, there might be a little too, too much light, which you'll see when we go on the inside. But I was just mimicking that pattern with the trellis right here with this little outdoor seating area. Now I did want to make sure to give lots of outdoor space, although everything inside the tiny home is functional as well. There is a place to sit down and eat in there as well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to just make use of the, the yard as much as possible because I imagine if you live in a house like 
like this, you probably don't want to spend all your time inside. I imagine you'd want to spend some time outside in the beautiful nature. In the beautiful nature. Yep. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, <laughs> the, the nature. In nature. In, in pretty nature. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You guys can just tune me out. I don't know what this is. Anyways, I'm fixing... <laughs> Oh, loopy stuff. Ne remind me never to record this late again. My only other options were to come in super early because for whatever reason, I forgot to do this voiceover on Monday when I normally do my voiceovers. Oh, I know why. Okay. So I built it and I was really happy with it. I was proud of it. I, um, I left it like in my gallery. I don't know. Maybe I didn't upload it. Well, I'm sure now it's uploaded, but at the time I don't think it was uploaded yet, but I basically left myself a note to take screenshots. Oh, to add to add planters in the backyard because that's kind of like something that I did at the very end. I was just really tired when I was building this. So I left myself a note to add the planters, take the screenshots, upload it to the gallery, and then combine all the footage for my voiceover. And for whatever reason, I just like totally spaced and forgot to do it. You know, I know the reason. I've been so obsessed with my thumbnails lately. I totally forgot about this video. I just completely forgot about it. So when I found it a few days later, I was like, oh no, when am I going to do a voiceover? I know, I'll get up early. Never happened. Never happened. In fact, I've been getting up later than usual. In fact, I've almost been late to work every single day day. And again, the reason is I've been like obsessed with working on my thumbnails. I don't know where that obsession came from lately. Oh, I do know. I do know. Um, <laughs> this video is so much rambling. Oh, ramble, ramble, ramble. I got a channel review from one of my favorite YouTube gurus and he basically told me two things. He was like, wow, every well, three things. The first thing was, wow, everything looks pretty good. You know, you're, you're doing good. You're getting subscribers. Keep at it. Two things I would recommend. One, make your thumbnails more consistent and two, add more playlists. So guess what I did? I added more playlists. Mm -hmm. So this is not just in my speed builds, but it's also in my tiny homes playlist, which I will link below so you can check out all my tiny homes. Yay, good advice. <laughs> and then, yeah, so the thumbnails, I don't know. I thought they were pretty consistent, but uh, apparently not to an outsider. <laughs> Apparently someone that's just clicking around on my channel didn't, he, at least he didn't immediately recognize that my self is on all my thumbnails. And I will admit, I probably do a bad job of that or I did a bad job of that because there were certain ones that she just looked stupid on, like the vampire series. Like that just, what, what, why would my sim self be on there? It made no sense. I had my vampires on the thumbnail. But anyways, that series is actually over now. And uh, the only Let's Play I have, which is, you know, season one just ended, but it, you know, I will pick it up for a season two eventually if you guys want is parenthood and since that one focuses on my sim self in an alternate reality i can obviously put her on the thumbnail so yeah now i'm just making sure that like every every thumbnail has my sim self on it and i'm hoping that kind of ties them together and if you guys don't care about this i'm sorry like i said i'm just rambling at this point because i'm tired and i want to talk about something but um i ended up i ended up changing like all the colors of my thumbnails and the fonts to all match each other which was quite an ordeal for me let me tell you like I heard the advice a million times make your th thumbnails consistent make them look like they belong to the same person yes yes I know I hear you but how how I build so many different houses and different styles and different colors and some are dark and creepy and gothic and some are light and pastel and pink so no matter what I did I tried to put borders I tried to put my logo a everything I did would look cute on certain thumbnails but then the ones with like the vampires and like the cool you know darker stuff it just looked ridiculous to have like a little pink seahorse or whatever <laughs> whatever my whatever my channel logo was at the time it just looked so stupid so I don't know I think I found something that worked my sim self yellow font the same text always in a yellow font and a little blue border around the thumbnail so yeah if you see like a, a drastic switch in in my thumbnails hopefully for the better now you know why. And I want to thank my friend Neve because she helped me come up with that color combo. She's in this one group that I'm in where I get advice about my YouTube channel and give other people advice about their channels. And she's awesome. She plays The Sims and she has an art channel, which I will make sure to link that below. If I forget, let me know. She'll link it. I'll link it. It'll be down there. Uh, it'll be in the comments somewhere <laughs> or the description. 
I don't know at this point, but yeah, she has, um, she has an art channel, but she also likes the Sims. I don't even know how we met. Like, I don't know if we met through the Sims and then I happened to see her on the live streams with this YouTube guru that we both like, or if it was the other way around, if I met her on the live streams and she happened to like the Sims. So, uh, Neve, if you're listening, comment below and let me know. I can't remember how we met, but she, she thought that, saw that I was struggling with my thumbnails in this group. I was asking for advice. Why can't I talk? And, um, she, she was so sweet. She sent me a little template with pink and blue and yellow and white text and fonts and borders and drop shadows. And it was so dang cute. Thank you, Neve. Um, but it was just a bit too much for what I do because having like blocks behind the text, God, this is so boring. I'll wrap it up. I promise. Having blocks behind the text, like covers up too much of the thumbnail space and covers up too much of the house. Having that and my sim self on there was just a nightmare, like trying to fit everything in. So, but I did take the colors. Like my point was <laughs> the colors that she put on there, the pink, the teal and the yellow looks so cute together that's kind of what I took and ran with so yeah <laughs> oh and also I'm probably only going to mention this once or twice I really don't want to like push a lot of promotion to it but I did start a second channel um mainly I, like okay I had been thinking of starting a second channel anyways because I just I, I build so much and it's I'm already posting every day and now twice a day for this month and I don't want to like bombard you guys with crazy amounts of videos um but then I got <laughs> Oh man, is there enough time to talk about this? Okay, I got into a little obsession with custom content, which I don't use. Like when I first, first, first started playing The Sims, I did use it, I will admit. I don't think a lot of people know that, but I did use it. Uh, it was before I started a channel, so no, like nobody even knew about it. Um, and it just messed with my game so much. It glitched, like there was weird stuff happening. Like my Sims would get this Jason looking mask on their face or what else would happen? I don't know, they wouldn't use the bed. Like they, they just glitched out. The game wouldn't save properly. I would spend all this time making a new household and then it'll crash and everyone was like, oh, it's your bad CC. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I just stopped using it. And then once I made the channel, I definitely didn't want to use it because I think it's no offense, but it's so annoying when someone like makes something and then, you know, they're, you want to download it and you don't have the custom content and you don't want to, or you can't find it. It's just, I, it's too much of a hassle for me to deal with. So I just never wanted to use it. But talking about my thumbnails, see, I'm wrapping this up somehow. I'm tying this all together somehow. Uh, talking about my thumbnails, I wanted my sim self to stand out a bit more. So I was like, maybe I'll download just like a couple pieces of custom content instead of like trying to photoshop stuff into it um you know just like i don't know unicorn horns and just like things that mermaid tails i don't know i don't know what i was thinking um but i was like it would be so much easier if i could just use custom content so i had this genius idea of just downloading it on my home laptop because i you know record and play on my work laptop and uh just creating some thumbnails here and there which was an amazing idea until and all my friends warned me uh once you use custom content you never go back <laughs> They're like, yeah, you can't just download one or two. It's like Pringles. You can't just eat one, you know, or whatever the saying is. So uh, I I fought tooth and nail and told them, no, I just want a couple things. And then I saw all these cool, oh, screenshots. Well, I guess, oh, man. Okay, well, I'll, I'm going to say this real quick. Anyways, uh, what I was trying to say is I'm obsessed with custom content now. I created a second channel. It's still called Simmer Key, but it's got two C's in Simmer Key for CC. I know, nice pun, play on words. That will be linked somewhere, maybe. I don't know. I don't like to promote it because it sucks and I am just learning how to use custom content. But if you're interested, interested, this might be the one and only time that I mention it. So just let me know in comments below or in social media if you want to link to that. But anyways, this house, ah, it came out so cute. But you see how bright the lights are in here? Like it just, I mean, but that's okay. That's okay. Lots of natural lighting in here. I squeezed a lot in this tiny little house and I love it and I'm proud of it. And my voiceover had nothing to do with what I wanted to talk about, but this is what happens when you don't plan what you want to talk about. Ah, screenshots. Okay, anyways, guys, uh, if the rambling didn't put you off, make sure to subscribe because as I said, I post videos every single day, sometimes twice a day, and now with a second channel, maybe three times a day. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye. God, this was a hot mess. A hot, 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 hot mess. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I love you guys. If, if you're still listening, I love you. Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.